Before I show you my secret to filling a cake decorating bag with buttercream frosting or ganache or whatever your decorating medium, I want to show you what I've done. When I whip up a batch of buttercream icing, I divide it into bowls according to the number of colors I need to make. So here I've got one bowl, and if you cover it with plastic wrap, it will not dry out. I'm going to do yellow. side. Okay. I'm using my mom's buttercream icing. It's really Crisco cream, right? Because it's powdered sugar, Crisco, a touch of tar cream of tartar, and salt. All right. I expanded on her recipe so that uh, the icing is easier to pipe from a bag and spread across the cake. I've never tried anything else unless I was making a dessert cake but anyway so I like this frosting I'm used to it I've only decorated maybe five or six cakes in the last ten years because you know when you have kids they take up a lot of time but I did work at a couple of bakeries and sold cakes out of my apartment in Germany and military housing. Other than the techniques that my mom showed me, I'm pretty much self-taught as far as cake decorating is concerned. Now there are pros and cons to teaching yourself to do anything, right? You learn a lot, but it does take up some money and time. All right, so we're done with this. Now, I get to show you my big secret. It has made cake decorating so clean, easy, efficient. What you're gonna do is lay out a sheet of plastic wrap, okay? And then you're going to mound your frosting in the middle. I'm gonna do a good job mixing this, okay. So just put it on there. I don't remember decorating cakes without using this technique. I get more done, have less mess, and it's so much more fun than fiddling with filling a cake decorating bag with icing. All right, so I've got my mound. You're going to fold this over and press on it. Then you're going to roll it almost like a bubblegum wrapper. Twist the ends, put it under. You've got the other side and do that. So now I have icing ready to go. I can work on my other colors and it's not going to dry out. So this is part one of my secret. Let's do this again with white. Normally I wrap the white right out of my mixing bowl because I don't need to color it. I know it's a lot of plastic wrap, but you know what? When I'm decorating cakes, it makes it so easy. Okay, so spoon. There we go. So here's the white. Later on, I'll show you how to make a tri-color icing with this secret as well. So again, bottom half, right over. You don't want to put too much icing because it's going to be hard to hold your cake decorating bag twist, and over again. Okay, so here's my yellow, my white, and I've got my red and my green. Now I can go clean up my kitchen or whatever, but I don't have to worry about my icing drying out and I have all the colors I need so that when I'm decorating a cake, it flows real well. Okay, now here is the second part to my secret. I have my cake decorating bag and now I'm going to show you the second part to my secret on how to fill a cake decorating bag so easily. You have the mound of icing that we prepared earlier, right? What you're going to do is cut one end, okay, squeeze this out a little bit till you see the frosting, open your cake decorating bag, slide the frosting in, Give your bag a couple of shakes. 
He's icing coming down. Icing, frosting, tomato, tomato. Okay. Hold and wrap your bag like you normally would. And watch how easy it is to put. Just squeeze. Okay, there you go. Now the second part to this, okay, the third part, once you finish all the icing in here and you have another mound of yellow, which I don't, but I'm gonna squeeze all that frosting out. And I want you to see how clean this bag is. So undo the tip. Just mound it back here. Now again, if I was really decorating a cake, I would have two mounds of yellow if I needed a lot, but for today's demonstration, I'm going to pretend that I've used up all my frosting. Okay, there you go. Set this aside. I'm going to wrap this like we did. Right, press it over, roll, twist and tuck. Okay. All right. Now, I'm done with this bag, okay? Look at how clean it is. Take that bag out, all right? Before, if you've decorated cakes, you'd have lots of icing over here. If you leave the bag out, it's gonna start to dry, so now you're gonna get bits of dried icing coming through your tip. With my secret, cut open another bag, clip it off, squeeze a bit again into the bag, Shake. Oh, put your tip on. <laughs> you might want to give it a couple of squeezes before you get back to your cake, in case there was some air there. All right, but that's how easy it is to fill a cake decorating bag with icing. It makes my experience decorating a cake easy simple, clean, and more enjoyable. As promised, I'm going to show you how to make a tricolor swirl using my secret cake decorating technique. So I have my red coloring here. I'm just gonna start at the end and come up. Okay, I took the tip off the bag. Got some green. Right here. Set it aside. Now roll this up like we did. Twist and twist. Put your piping bag. Unravel one end. Clip it. Get this through the bag. And shake. So Put this away. You can use the plate there. Watch this. Now before you'd have to put your spatula in with the green and the red or whatever color you chose. A couple of swirls out and there we go. Some green. We'll get some white out in a bit. Now you can make your red or green stripes thinner by using a round tip. Okay, and you don't have to waste icing, but there you go. And you can put them far, further away. I put them kind of close together. Some shells. Okay, stars. I learned how to decorate cakes with stars. All right, there you have it. Filling your cake decorating bag to make a tricolor swirl.